Welcome back. Before the commercial break, we were talking to the Duchess of Malfi about her life. Duchess, you were telling us about your husband, Antonio? Well, Antonio was my husband, but due to my brother's attempt to ban me from remarrying, I had to wed him in secret. Well, it was a secret. Why would your brothers try to stop you from marrying again? If I can ask. To be honest, Maury, this all started because my brothers were selfish. They were so concerned with the fact that if I was to remarry and have children, their inheritance would be affected. They were absolutely adamant that I never remarry. So I didn't tell them. <laughs> How long did the marriage stay a secret, Duchess? Oh, quite a few years. No one had a clue? You would think someone would grow curious after having a baby come along, don't you think? Oh, rumors flew! Most common, however, was that I was keeping male company of the scandalous nature. It never occurred to my brothers or their informant that the children were legitimate. Informant? So you're saying that not only did they forbid you from marrying, your brothers then spied on you? Yes. What the fuck is that boo? They hired a man, Daniel de Bolsa, who worked for my brother, the Cardinal. One of your brothers was a Cardinal? Isn't a man of the cloth supposed to be a bit more pious than sending a spy after his sister? It takes all kinds, Maury. Hell, my other brother is my twin, and he had a thing for me. I know, right? And he was so possessive. And he needed some anger management classes or something. And he was a bit crazy. <laughs> well, since he was mentioned, let's hear what Duke Ferdinand has to say. I don't care what she says. My sister is a slut. Mm -hmm. Her marriage wasn't worth shit, and she had three children out of wedlock, at least. What no one seems to see is that I tried to protect her. A young widow remarrying is offensive and ruining to her goddamn reputation. I don't care what anyone says. The Duchess may have been with Antonio last, but there is no way she was secretly married for that long and no one knew about it. I can guarantee you, those kids have more than one daddy. And what I do in graveyards at night is my own damn business. Let's bring out Duke Ferdinand. No, no fuck, fuck you, that guy. No, we Guys, calm, what? calm what? down. What? Calm, calm down. Calm down. What? Calm, calm down. Yeah. Calm down. All right. Okay. Duke, please, have a seat. Come on. Let's talk. All right. I'll talk to you, but I ain't got nothing to say to that bitch. Yes, very mature. Really. I commend you, moron. Let's be civil now, Ferdinand. You and your brother had someone watching your sister, didn't you? Yes, Mari, we did. A young widow left alone to fend for herself. It was for her own protection. So it had nothing to do with not trusting your sister? Well, maybe, but only because she is a woman, and women are known to be less than trustworthy. What credit do you give to the fact that your sister says that she was 
legally married to Antonio. It's a lie! Obviously, she wasn't married. There was no ceremony and no witnesses. Mm-hmm, you know that's right. Mm-hmm, thank you. Oh my God, there was two. My lady-in-waiting, Cariola, acted as my witness, and later, as my midwife at the birth of my children. <sighs> so, Cariola knew of the marriage from the beginning? Yes, Mari, she did. No woman is trustworthy. They're natural-born liars. <sighs> Where you come from, doesn't a witness make a marriage contract binding? Why are you asking so many damn questions? Well, I'm just doing my job, of course. Didn't you agree to come here? You win this battle. But I warn you, this war is not over! <laughs> the war. <clears throat> yes, well, uh, the question. Well, what had happened was a man named Daniel de Bolsa that I sent to you know, spy on my sister had done a deed that I told him to do, but uh, in the end, I realized it was the worst decision I have ever made. Well, it just so happens that we have Daniel De Bosa here. Come on out. Man, what the fuck is that? I'm guessing everyone knows what happened. Yeah, we know you did. What yep. the fuck? That's why you're booing me. Yes. Yes. Exactly why. How are you doing today? Well, I feel absolutely shitty. I have made a horrible mistake thanks to the Duke here. It is because of this man's insanity that we're all here today. Oh, you wouldn't dare say that to my face! I am not the insane one. I am perfectly fine. You! You are the one who's lost his mind after the incident. Don't get me confused with yourself, you fool. Oh my god! Where the hell did he come from? What the fuck? What the hell is- oh, What? No way! That's yeah, not real. I'm sorry, and you are? I'm the Cardinal, brother of the Duke and the Duchess, and all I really have to say is all of this is nonsense. Daniel de Bosa, you are a traitor. How dare you try to act like you're innocent here? You dare attack a man at his prayers. What kind of person does that make you? It is only because of the knowledge I had of you saying that you were going to kill me. I have made my mistakes of following both of you twisted plans. I feel that attacking you justifies the actions that I've made against the Duchess. Doesn't he sound so sincere? A man who I trusted, and instead, he betrayed me! You are definitely Mr. Right out of all of this, Daniel de Bolsa. But... I revenged you! And also, you placed me here along with my baby daddy and my two children. Two children? Don't you have three children? What happened to the eldest child? Well, eventually, after the incident, he became heir to my wealth and fortune. So I feel everyone at home and the audience members want to know, what was this incident that you all are talking about? Well, which one of you douches wants to tell him? Will this make you forgive me? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Not. It shall be me to tell you. Daniel de Bolsa killed my sister, the Duchess. But if I'm right, he somehow felt that he had done some wrong. And he comes after the Cardinal, my brother, and stabs him to death, then he must face me, the craziest motherfucker around. Yeah. Woo! At least you admit you're crazy. So what you're saying is that you're all dead. Duchess? Mm-hmm, sugar. As dead as Osama bin Laden. Who's that? Daniel de Bosa? 
Unfortunately, I was killed alongside with the Duke. Cardinal? Sad, but yes. And Duke, I assume you are as well. I am as dead as a werewolf underneath a gravestone. You really are insane. Well, anyway, thank you all for watching this episode of Mori. Stay tuned for the next episode. Osama Bin Laden, newest hideout. Hell? Welcome back. Before the commercial break, we were talking to the Duchess. The Duchess of Duchess the of Duchess the of Duchess, Duchess, Duchess. The Duchess. Sad, but yes. You win this battle. Go, you tell him. Would you shut the fuck up? I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> but, I revenge you. Okay. Fuck. Right, just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Insanity! Oh, you wouldn't dare say that to my face. I am not the one insane. I am perfectly fine. It's all you who have... No, it's fuck. Again. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, that you all for... Oh, what the fuck is that you all? I just returned... Sugar, as dead as Osama bin Laden. Woo!